Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use generative fill inside Adobe Firefly. And then also, and more importantly, I'm going to show you how to expand the image, increase its height and its width and its length and all that. But you can't do it in Firefly at the moment. So I'm going to show you how to use a free tool to do it. So the first thing is, you'll see here that I'm in generative fill. If you just log in, and this is currently free, you just want to go to generative fill here and then just upload an image. So I'm going to quickly do that. I'll just drag and drop in this nice simple image. Now this is the stuff that everybody uh, has access to and it's just generative fill. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to brush over top of this little um, over top of that fairy and then I'm going to click generate and then in a few seconds it's going to give me four candidates for um, replacements. So I pulled out basically I'm going to pull out the fairy and there we go. We've got this one with some little boat in the background which is actually not too bad and then this one here was with nothing in the background and you'll see here okay this one's pretty good so let's say I'd keep that. So that's step one. Step two, however, is I can't expand this image out, can I? I can't go any, I can't increase its height or its width. So what you want to do is you want to go to this website here. And again, this is free as well. And you can already see that I've expanded the image. But let's go back to the beginning. And I'm going to go right back to the start. So you want to go to clipdrop.co and then you want to select uncrop. Now, when we've got the image, I'm going to go grab this image right here. I'm just going to drag and drop it in here. And then presto, you'll see here that I can expand it out. So if I just wanted to increase the width, I can just go ahead and move these bars like this, for example. And then if I wanted to make it a little bit higher, something like that, maybe a little lower, something like that. You can go, of course, create it any way you want. And I'm just going to zoom in here. And then when you've got it kind of where you want it, click on next. And this does pretty much the same thing as the Adobe Photoshop does. Although it's not quite as good if I'm honest, but the price is right because you'll see here that it's done a pretty good job, but I got this little uh, thing on the right here, but let's keep clicking through. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, this one's pretty good. And then, yeah, so the third one. So I would go ahead and keep that, and I would just go ahead and then click on download, and bang, and I would crop it in a little bit. But you can do that with Photoshop Beta as well. So if I go ahead and show you this, this is generative fill inside uh, Photoshop Beta, but right now, this you have to have an account for this. So that is why I showed you this. Clipdrop.co handles all of that expansion. Free tool. Thanks for watching.